This program is brought to you by the Stanford Humanities Center. For more information, please visit us at shc.stanford.edu. Part of the skill of writing over a long period of time is trusting your subconscious to come up with a solution that's better than um, what you would deliberately think. Um, I come up with lines, um, uh, I, I, little snatches of words that come up. In, I mean, I'm sure this happens to everybody, not just poets. Um, things that uh, come in the middle of the night and you think, oh, yes, of course, why, why didn't I think of that? Um, I think there's also uh, a good method in, let's say, I, I swim a lot and I get quite a lot of ideas um, as I'm swimming. Um, it's a question of taking your mind off the intention to do anything. And uh, there's that paradox, isn't it, that, that it, it, then you fulfill your intention by not aiming for it. Uh, I think it's part of that. But I did write once, uh, dream a line of poetry, which I haven't been uh, able to use ever. And it's something to do with um, uh, spent rocket fuel. And I thought that was the most poetic thing I'd ever heard. It's lousy, but I thought it was pretty impressive in my sleep, you know? It, writing is not a thing that happens post facto, um, after you've done something. The whole process of perception is happening as you write. Otherwise, it's not creative writing, it's expository writing, which is different. Because the realization is embodied in the form of the work. So I can't possibly know something before I've written about it. Um, now, you know, I have a, a, I like to eat, I have to earn a living. Um, you know, there are ways in which one has to plan um, and live a normal life. But psychically, there's something um, about getting, uh, writing gives you a second body and uh, it's, it's a strange kind of double life uh, because the second body is not quite the same as the first. Uh, there's a kind of impersonality uh, to the second body that is almost akin to a religious practice for me. Um, it's not a religion, that's different, but the discipline of it is, is, uh, calls on many of the same... Uh, strategies. Um, so for me, for me, it is a spiritual matter. Um, and I can only envisage a future through knowing what I've done in this second body. I think that's as much as I can say about it, because it is a mysterious process. I have had a rather spooky experience of noticing an image in my poems, uh, which would be quite long ago, and then to realize that actually, oh goodness me, that image became more important in my life, not less, and that, um, you know, images to do, say, with uh, going to sea, and my husband and I did end up going to sea and sailing quite a long way. Um, uh, we went, went from Wales to North Africa, just in a two-handed boat. Um, so, and that came out of metaphor, really. There's a way in which you exchange metaphors and you live them, and you live and you live things, and you exchange. There's a uh, exchange that for metaphor. It's, there's a there's an economy going on between figurative language and the lived life that uh, is is quite thrilling, and that's the good bit about being a writer. This program is brought to you by the Stanford Humanities Center. For more information, please visit us at shc.stanford.edu.